Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Welcome back, fellow explorers of the cosmos and all its possibilities. The world is about to witness huge freefall of product and commodity like never before, so brace up for impact. Today we embark on a journey that transcends the familiar frontiers of space and time to delve into a realm no less profound. The very energy that powers our civilization. We're diving deep into the claims of Maxwell Chikumbutso, an inventor who says he's unlocked the secrets of self-powered technology. Imagine a world where energy isn't a finite resource fought over by nations, but an abundant force as freely available as the air we breathe. From crashing commodity prices to ending inflation, this technology promises to liberate economies worldwide. We're talking about a potential paradigm shift, a fundamental restructuring of our global systems. But is it too good to be true? Join me as we dissect the science, the skepticism, and the potential societal upheaval that Chikumbutso's inventions could unleash. Welcome to a groundbreaking exploration of how Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered technology could revolutionize the global economy. From crashing commodity prices to ending inflation, this technology promises to liberate economies worldwide. Let's start by imagining a world where the black gold that built empires, oil, is rendered practically obsolete. Picture a scenario where the lifeblood of modern civilization, the very substance that fueled the Industrial Revolution and powered the 20th century, is no longer in demand. No more dependence on volatile markets, no more geopolitical puppet masters pulling strings with every barrel. The power dynamics that have shaped global politics for over a century would be upended. Chikumbutso's self-powered technology, if it lives up to its billing, could be the nail in the coffin for fossil fuels. This innovation promises a future where energy is abundant, clean and decentralized. But it's not just oil. The ripple effects extend far beyond. Think about lithium, the heart of our battery-powered present and future. This metal, crucial for electric vehicles and renewable energy storage, could see its demand plummet. Imagine electric vehicles drawing power not from lithium-ion cells, but from a self-sustaining energy source. A world where cars, homes and devices are powered independently without the need for constant recharging. The demand for lithium plummets, sending shockwaves through the global south, where many countries have staked their economic futures on this precious metal. Economies that once thrived on mining and exporting lithium would face unprecedented challenges. Copper, the backbone of our electrical grids, faces a similar fate. The metal that has been essential for wiring and electrical infrastructure could become less critical. The intricate web of power lines crisscrossing continents becomes a relic of a bygone era, replaced by localized, self-sufficient energy generation. Communities could generate their own power, reducing the need for extensive grid infrastructure. The implications are staggering, with entire industries facing extinction. The economic landscape would be transformed, with new industries rising and old ones fading away. Mining conglomerates, once titans of industry, would see their empires crumble. The shift to new energy sources would render many traditional mining operations obsolete. Shipping magnates, who built their fortunes on the transportation of these raw materials would find their fleets becalmed in a sea of change. The global logistics and transportation networks would need to adapt to new realities. The geopolitical map, redrawn countless times over the control of resources, would need to be re-evaluated in this new energy landscape. Nations would vie for dominance in a world where energy is no longer a scarce commodity. The question isn't just about the collapse of these industries, but the ripple effect it sends through the global economy. The financial markets, employment rates and even social structures would be impacted in ways we can only begin to imagine. Now let's turn our attention to a force that has vexed economists and policymakers for centuries inflation. The insidious creep of rising prices, eroding our purchasing power and destabilizing economies, but what if the key to taming this economic beast lies in the boundless potential of self-powered technology? Imagine a world where the cost of energy is negligible, a fraction of what we pay today. This isn't just about cheaper electricity bills, it's about a fundamental shift in the cost structure of nearly every good and service we consume. Transportation, a sector heavily reliant on fossil fuels, would be among the first to feel the impact. 
The cost of shipping goods across oceans and continents would plummet, making everything from food to electronics more affordable. Manufacturing, another energy-intensive sector, would also experience a seismic shift. Factories, no longer beholden to the whims of energy markets, could produce goods at a fraction of the cost. This increased efficiency would ripple through the economy, making everything from clothing to cars more accessible to consumers worldwide. Agriculture, the backbone of our food supply, would also benefit from this energy revolution. Imagine greenhouses operating year-round, powered by the sun and the very air around them. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're about to enter a zone of potential disruption that would make even the most seasoned tech disruptor nervous. The landscape of industry as we know it is on the brink of a seismic shift, one that could redefine the very fabric of our economy. We're talking about the potential obsolescence of entire industries rendered irrelevant by the rise of self-powered technology. This isn't just a minor tweak or a gradual evolution, it's a revolution that could leave no stone unturned. Let's start with the automotive industry, a sector that has been the backbone of modern transportation and a significant contributor to global economies. Imagine a world where the internal combustion engine, a marvel of engineering that has defined transportation for over a century, is relegated to museums. These once revolutionary machines would become relics of a bygone era. Electric vehicles already gaining traction would become the norm, but not as we know them. The shift would be towards vehicles that are not just electric, but self-sustaining, eliminating the need for frequent recharging. We're talking about cars, trucks and buses, powered not by batteries that need constant recharging, but by self-sustaining energy systems. This would revolutionize the way we think about transportation and energy consumption. The implications for giants like Toyota, Ford and Volkswagen are staggering. These companies, which have dominated the automotive landscape for decades, would need to completely rethink their strategies and operations. Their vast manufacturing plants, their intricate supply chains, their very business models built on the sale of fossil fuel-powered vehicles would be upended. The ripple effects would be felt across the entire industry. Next, let's look at the utility companies, the gatekeepers of our energy grids. These entities have long held the keys to our power supply, but that could change dramatically. Imagine a world where every home, every business, every building generates its own power. Solar panels, wind turbines and other renewable energy sources would become ubiquitous. The need for centralized power plants for vast networks of transmission lines would dwindle, if not disappear entirely. This decentralization of power generation would fundamentally alter the energy landscape. Companies like ExxonMobil, BP and Shell, who have built empires on the extraction and sale of fossil fuels, would see their dominance crumble. Their business models would need to adapt or face obsolescence. But it's not just the energy giants that face disruption. The ripple effects would extend far beyond, impacting various sectors and industries. Tech companies, those darlings of the digital age, would also feel the heat. As the landscape shifts, they too would need to innovate and adapt to stay relevant in this new world order. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to venture into a realm that might seem as foreign as a distant galaxy. A world without government energy subsidies, development aid or disaster relief as we know it. Imagine a landscape where the traditional pillars of support are no longer necessary and communities thrive on their own terms. Sounds radical, right? Well, in a future powered by Chikumbutso's self-sustaining technology, it might just be the norm. Think about it, this technology could revolutionize the way we perceive and utilize energy, making it as ubiquitous and accessible as air. If energy becomes readily available and virtually free at the source, the entire rationale for government intervention in the energy sector evaporates. The energy landscape would shift dramatically, altering the balance of power and economic dynamics globally. No more need for subsidies to prop up failing fossil fuel industries or incentivize the adoption of renewable energy sources. The market would naturally gravitate toward the most efficient and sustainable options. The invisible hand of the market, as Adam Smith envisioned it, would finally have free reign in the energy sector. Businesses and consumers alike would benefit from a more competitive and innovative marketplace. 
But the implications extend far beyond just energy policy. The ripple effects would touch every aspect of global development and international relations. Development aid, often tied to energy infrastructure projects in developing countries, would be rendered obsolete. Local communities would gain the autonomy to develop their own energy solutions. Nations, particularly in Africa, would no longer be beholden to foreign powers for their energy needs. This shift could foster a new era of self-reliance and innovation. This newfound energy independence could be a powerful engine for economic growth and social progress, allowing countries to chart their own destinies free from external influence. The potential for local entrepreneurship and community-driven projects would be immense. Disaster relief, often focused on restoring power to affected areas, would also undergo a dramatic transformation. The resilience of communities would be significantly enhanced. Imagine a world where homes, businesses and critical infrastructure are equipped with self-sustaining energy systems capable of weathering even the most severe natural disasters. This vision of the future is not just a possibility, but a potential reality within our grasp. Now let's turn our gaze to a continent brimming with potential, a continent often overlooked but poised to become a beacon of innovation in a self-powered future, Africa. For too long, Africa has been seen through a lens of poverty, conflict and dependence. But Chikumbutso's technology, born on African soil, offers a tantalizing glimpse of a different narrative, a narrative of self-reliance, empowerment and boundless opportunity. Imagine an Africa unshackled from the legacy of colonialism, no longer beholden to foreign powers for its energy needs. Imagine a continent where the vast reserves of sunshine are harnessed not to export energy to the West, but to power local economies and uplift communities. This is not just a pipe dream, it's a future within reach. With its young, dynamic population and an abundance of natural resources, Africa is uniquely positioned to leapfrog the developed world and become a leader in the self-powered revolution. Imagine bustling industrial centers powered by clean, sustainable energy, creating jobs and driving economic growth. Imagine rural communities no longer tethered to unreliable and expensive power grids, unlocking their agricultural potential and feeding the continent and beyond. But the transformation goes far beyond just economics. Uh, as we stand on the brink of this seismic shift, the question isn't if, but who survives. Africa, unburdened by legacy industries, is poised to lead while the West scrambles to salvage its dying giants. Thank you for spending these 10 minutes with us. Keep looking up and keep questioning everything. The future, like the universe itself, is full of boundless possibilities. So there you have it. Stay positive, my dear beloved. Stay focused, stay connected. Keep the hope alive as the new future unfolds to break us free from shake of big cooperations. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a date to keep, a groundbreaking technology to enjoy, and I have flight to catch. Thanks for your time.